Uh, you know. Uh, uh, yes. The one you have for English, where you, I don't know, you were talking oh, about. Oh, yeah. I'm going to beat you in this game. This is taking forever. Well, what if, what if I just copy and paste? Think the teacher would notice? Whatever, it's, it's late, I'm just gonna do it. Okay, let me check on the Greek Gap Beat Essays. See how period one did. 81%. That concerns me. Hi, Sam. I I'm a little surprised to see you here in my office. Any, any reason why you're sent up here today? I have a referral. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Um, well, I got caught trying to cheat. What class was that in? Uh, language arts. And. Mm -hmm. What kind of assignment was it you were trying to cheat on? Uh, it was a pretty big essay. And I, I probably don't need to ask if you knew whether che whether or not cheating was okay here. No. no. And you know, are you aware of our academic honesty policy? Um, yeah, sort of. So you probably have a pretty good idea what punishment's coming your way, right? Yeah. Tell me. Um, probably different levels, really, depending on um, how... You don't know it very well. You don't know it very well. Do you have your student handbook? Let's open that up here. Look at that old academic honesty policy. Were you aware that we had several levels of violations? I just thought cheating was cheating. Well, that's good. It, that's, that's probably what the, the real yeah. truth is. Cheating is cheating. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But you basically got several levels here. And, and your violation was really a level two violation because you tried to cheat on a paper. It's a, that's plagiarism, and it's a bigger violation. If you're trying to copy a homework or, or a classroom assignment, that's a level one violation. But you've jumped into level two right off the bat, and that's a more serious, um, you know, a more serious punishment. Let me ask you a question. What grade do you think you deserve on the assignment? Well, I don't think I really deserve a grade. You, exactly right. You just got a zero on the assignment, as it says here. Um, this referral right here, that's staying in your discipline file. Okay? And the fact that you had to come up here and meet with me today means I get to call your dad on the phone right today at work. How's he going to react? Shocked. Yeah, yeah. he's not going to be real excited if he's anything like my dad used to be. Um, let me ask you this question. Um, why why do you cheat? Just because it's easier than doing the assignment. And then it's kind of pressure. I have four AP classes. So. I just don't have the time. Okay. Um, so when you get caught there, you recognize you've taken a risk, and that's part of the, you know. Yeah. Uh, do you think that you think people will expect you to be a cheater in the later stages of your life? Well, I guess not. Cheat on your income tax? No. Huh? Steal stuff from stores? No. Um, walk out of restaurants without paying the bill? No. I kind of lump it the same. Um, what the, let me, there, that's the, we're talking about the policy and the punishment. Let's talk about a different issue. Let's talk about Sam. Okay? Let's talk about Sam. How does Sam want to be seen by his teachers here at school? Well, I mean, just a student, I guess. And when they pick up the phone and call your dad, they pick up the phone and call your dad, hey, your son is what? What do you want them to hear? Good student. Good student. Good yeah. guy. Honest guy. Great integrity. People respect him. That's what you want now, and that's what you're going to want when you get to be my age. 
It's, it's about integrity. You have to make some decisions. If you're going to go with shortcuts, you have the potential to lose integrity. If you want to take some time and do it right, you're gonna, you pro might just have lower grades, but you may just have more people respect you. Uh -huh. okay. yeah. So I'm going to look for a commitment from you in the future to change your ways and really get in and, and do a better job. Yeah. Fair, enough? Fair enough? I can depend on that commitment? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mr. Fisher, uh, what are some of the reasons for students to cheat today? I don't see many good reasons for them to cheat, but I think some of the reasons that they would, that they would tell you would be uh, there's too much pressure on them, uh, they might say that there's too much work, they might say that they're just lazy and they want to get out of something. Um, those would be the three that would probably come quickest to mind. Uh, my next question, what do you think kids should do instead of cheating? I think, I think a couple of things. Number one, I think they should do their work. Um, I think number two, if they're really struggling in a class to the point where they feel they need to cheat, I think you talk to your teacher. I always used to share with my kids, if, if you're at a point where cheating has come to, where it's what you have to do to get by in my class, then you need to see me. Because then they, I thought that night they could come in for tutorial, they could get extra help, I could work with them to help them move ahead without being tempted to do something uh, dishonest. Uh, all right. Well, my next question is, can you explain the different levels of the violation? Like, I know we had the level one, the level two, and the level three. Right. The level one cheating is basically for um, lower level type violations, copying a homework assignment, um, maybe copying a class assignment. Level two is one that is um, more focused on plagiarism. Uh, maybe you've taken a paper off the internet, you've taken a paper from a friend, um, you, you've um, uh, taken an assignment like um, like a video, for example, from somebody else previous year, and you've come in and used it, something more serious. The level three gets to a point where it's a second violation of a, of a level two, and it becomes serious enough to where you're being taken out of courses, where you're getting F's in classes as a result of your violation. Uh, my next question, have you ever caught kids outside of the classroom cheating, such as like in the quad or... Yeah, from, from time to time I see kids out there, um, somebody's copying, typically it's somebody copying someone else's homework assignment. And, and when I do, I collect those assignments and I get them out to those teachers and, and let, make it very clear what the students were doing. Well, thank you Mr. Fisher for your time. My pleasure.